Good morning, Fort Hill Presbyterian Church family. It is Saturday, May 30th. As many of you are mostly aware, I imagine most, if not all of you are aware, I am an Atlanta native, which Atlanta was among one of the cities that has been very recently, as of last night, exploded into some decently violent riots with things being broken, things being set on fire, and things like that. These events in Atlanta and Indianapolis and other cities across this country that we live in has really forced me to change the message that I had prepared for this devotional earlier in the week. And how it was going to change was not something I was super certain of or super clear on. So I had it all laid out. I was going to break down all of these cool word origins in Hebrew and all kinds of other things for the word generosity in the Old Testament. But in light of those events, it didn't seem entirely appropriate to do that or didn't seem entirely genuine to do that. But I did want to still take a piece from what I was going to say and give that to y'all today. And that's as I was researching for this devotional, I was looking for different places where generosity is brought up in scripture and generosity is spoken about in scripture and one place that I came across and I honestly don't know why it stuck out to me in the first place was in Proverbs where in Proverbs 11:25 it says that a generous person will be enriched and that one who gives water will themselves be watered which Upon initially reading it, I didn't think much of it. I didn't think anything entirely revolutionary, but it wasn't until I actually did look at the Hebrew that that word generous used here is from the same root word, or from, from the word meaning to bless or to kneel. Which to me I thought was really an, an, just an interesting thing that that a blessing and generous came from that same word. Which figuring that out led me down a rabbit hole of you know nuancing the different words in in this in the scripture and but what I really wanted to focus on was that that word to bless which where this word generous comes from in this Proverbs passage. And so I started looking for definitions of bless. What does that mean? And most of them were very religious in connotation. Most of them had something to do with a sacred or holy act. But it wasn't until I stumbled across one that uh, I really felt applied to the situation applied to our world today and that that definition is that to bless is to bestow good of any kind upon to bestow good of any kind upon and stumbling across that initially I thought it was just an interesting thing that it was unique and not religious in connotation. But in light of last night's events and other recent events, it's really put a different spotlight on the idea of what it means to bestow good of any kind upon someone or something. And I think in light of these events, I think it's an important question for all of us to ask, what does it mean to, to bestow good upon our neighbors? I believe that it's 
to bestow good upon our neighbors is to first and foremost love love them and love all members of creation and I think that within that that includes speaking up and seeking justice and I think that that looks different for for different people and for different situations but I think to bestow good for of any kind includes those types of acts and I think that's something that in the spirit of generosity we can all consider that that generous comes from bless and bless and one of its many definitions means to bestow good so to be generous to one another we need to first and foremost love followed by the many things that love calls us to do and requires of us to do Will you please pray with me? Dear Creator God, the times we are living in are tumultuous, to say the least. We do not, un we do not know what will happen next. We do not understand why certain things have already happened. We pray in these most uncertain of times that you give us a spirit of generosity a spirit of generosity emboldened to do the important and sometimes hard work of blessing one another and loving one another. We just pray this in your name. Amen.